Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to our chaotic game as the Mayans. And things are going well. We just completely annihilated Norway. Well, almost entirely. We left him with one city. And we left him with this city so that we wouldn't take full grievances for the time of actually like, conquering the city. But we will take the city when it flips in loyalty for sure. Plus that'll get us a little bit of extra error score, which I'm all a big fan of. And it's, it's time we made a decision about how we're going to win the game because Amburix is about to launch the Earth satellite. And that's a problem for us because I don't even have spaceports, spaceports yet. Now, I think I can beat him to the space race because I have slightly more science than him. I definitely have a bigger empire than him. I definitely have more population than him. And the potential for my empire is, is probably really good at this point, especially if I dig down and really work on getting suzerainty of some of these city states, you know, doing missions and recruiting things and all that sort of stuff. If I focus on getting a city state suzerainty, I could definitely do a lot here. Now, I have the option of going for a science victory or a domination victory. Now, I'm sitting on a really big army and my neighbor, the Cree, is very weak. So I reckon if I'm going for domination or for a science victory, killing the Cree is probably like a pretty reasonable move. I'm going to come into my capital and make a handful of field cannons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I probably need about seven field cannons to uh, garrison my lands over here. Government-wise, I will plug in Merchant Confederation for the gold. Let's go to Canada's capital as well and see if we can cause a bit of chaos with some of our spies over there. Ooh, a free trade route. Boom, thank you very much. I don't know how I managed to get that great admiral, but I mean, I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. I'll trade with Kumasi for the extra envoy. Boom. Now, I might have actually been able to conquer enough luxuries to get some monopolies here. So if I go in... Oh, my troops are merely passing by. Norway, I just killed you, so you're good. We do have access to communism now, so I could plug in that and get a bunch of extra science, which I think I will do. Plus, the extra production is always nice. It does mean my diplomatic slots are a little bit more limited. Collectivization seems to fit really well with how I'm playing right now, very internally focused. But if I'm going to do that too, it'd probably be a good idea. I really want to plug in like public transport and stuff as well. There's a lot of like, like a lot of good food production and gold stuff. And then triangular trade too. I really want to plug this in. Doing a lot of like internal trade. I will plug in levy and masks. That's 50 gold. And then 50% discount on unit production, I'd say. Or grand army would allow my capital to upgrade faster. We are cracking our field cannons at an unholy rate. Let's get uranium and nuclear fission. It might be a meme, depending on if I hit enough uranium to go straight for a nuclear power plant in Bananarama. So I'll go ahead and buy... Well, how close am I to my workshop in here? I'm going to hard build the workshop and then depending on if I have uranium or not, I'll get an oil power plant or a nuclear power plant in here. Where is our next stop? We have science foundation, so it probably would have been a good idea to plug those in. But I'm going to wait till Mary Leakey is done. I think I'll look unlock capitalism. Shopping malls are quite good because they are worth two amenities and four gold, which is a decent amount of yields for, for my empire. Now, I, you could make an argument that I need to go for the, um, the, 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 the shopping mall, the food market for the uh, extra six food, because that's worth three extra population in these cities. But I, I think I can feed my cities with trade routes, so I'm okay there. Norway's capital says it's loyal. Uh, it's probably loyal for now, but in, in the next era, it won't be loyal at all, guaranteed. Oh yeah, I was thinking about luxuries, right. We have the potential for a marble industry, a mercury industry, turtle industry for sure. So the we have at least marble. Yeah, okay. I might be able to make something happen here. Also, I should totally settle over here for this amber stuff. Um, if I could pick up two amber with these cities, it would just be, you know, another nice industry. But that's what these builders are for. It's also why I was holding on to a uh, merchant somewhere. Adam Smith. I'm holding on to Adam Smith so I can get another uh, industry. This is the power of railroads. It's only a couple of turns after I killed Norway and I'm already getting most of my troops back over to fight the Cree instead. The power of the railroad, the power of the supply convoy. Nukes are sus, it's worth 11 food, eight production and two gold. Now that is an internal trade route, all right? Right, let's start making some artillery, I reckon. Uh, do I have the cheaper unit card? I don't have the cheaper unit card plugged in, so I'll wait, I reckon, next turn before I start upgrading all this artillery, which will be able to take advantage of Marina Raskova, who will give plus one movement and five combat strength to these lads. Did I ever pick up the... Oh, I never picked up the Luft Balloon. 99 OBS Balloons. Mein Luft Balloon. Ah, Margaret Mead gives you a thousand culture and a thousand science. Is this really the kind of scientist that I want? If I recruit her... Okay. 
Yeah, okay, this is what I was hoping for. A nice, big, long way away, great scientist. Happy days. Margaret, welcome to the Empire. Oh, Christ, everyone hates me, so I can't go into their lands. Why didn't I read what she's supposed to do? Give me your open borders. Oh, do you hate me? Oh, you hate me. Damn it. Right, I'll spend the 600 gold to pull out Grand Army and plug in Force Modernization because it's going to save me money on every single one of these artilleries that I plan to boost. How much oil do I have? Three oils. This is all I can afford to maintain is these three lads. But they are four movement artillery, which is very good. Declare war of territorial expansion. A 25% reduction in grievances generated. So we'll probably do a war of territorial expansion next turn. Let's just get open borders. I have open borders with Ambiorix now. So that means I have a 30 turn window. Oh shoot, I actually don't know what my window is. But it should be, it should be a good window to, um, to do what I need to do. Oh my god, the Kree Empire must be huge if they're hiding over here in the fog of war. Oh, lovely, we got the mausoleum. So now all my great engineers have an extra charge. Perfect for the science victory. My troops are merely passing by, but I'm definitely lying. Um, there's combined arms. We did hit uranium. So nuclear fission is our next step. Go ahead and declare war territorial expansion here. And now let us begin the boom, boom, boom in my room, room, room. Oh, this guy has so much to pillage. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Room, room. Already got his first encampment down. And the cavalry, the cavalry has arrived and is pouring through the gap. So that we can start pillaging all of his lands. Uh, I'll probably need, need more cavalry, to be honest. Um, speaking of which, let's pop in here and grab ourselves a nine-turn cavalry army. Now we can send our military engineers over to the Cree to start building even more rail. Is this where I want my turtle industry? I think it is. It's the only place with an observatory that actually works. So we'll pop that there. Then we'll come over here. You need to control three of this resource. Well, that's a bit of a doozy. Are you ready? Are you ready to see? I'm pretty sure these things don't just give you health. But are you ready? Like the destruction that we can rot upon this man. Oh, oh, that was, a, that was a single cavalry running amok inside his lands, pillaging. Just wait till I get more of them in here. Oh, this trap hurt me. Get that trap out of here. I like how vampires get hurt by the traps and then can instant pillage them. 40 damage is a lot from a trap, actually. <laughs> Do I wall in? <laughs> Do I wall in Norway and build like the giga traps? No, 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 no. We won't. We won't do that. What does the reinforced barricade do? Deals moderate damage to and exerts zone control on hostile units passing through or adjacent to it. It's like if I... It's like a little little chunk of territory there that's protected. Field cannons I don't think are strong enough for these zombies anymore. We've hit another, hit another break point where the zombies have become a little bit too strong for me to manage them with the tools that I currently have at my disposal. I did actually win the World's Fair though. That got me a Diplo point and 100 great people points um, but I'm far more interested in, in the sheer amount of damage I can do to this man's society with a single horsey boy running around pillaging like just the sheer level of destruction available to me is quite tasty I might add boom 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 city is dead I'll level up my tank I guess I won't level up my tank shooting the city I'll use my vampire for it I guess now I can repair the trap. I could buy floodgates in the North Cities with Valletta. I don't have floodgates unlocked, unfortunately, but that is something we will be doing, hopefully before the flooding becomes too bad. I just, I haven't figured out where, um, where research labs are, which is a bit of a problem. Sitting on three envoys. Who do you want suzerainty of? I'd love another gold suzerainty, but that's going to be tough to get. Samarkand might be my best bet. I'd love to take suzerainty of Anshan. Even Buenos Aires would be nice. I'll just put some extra points into Cahokia and Samarkand because that's going to massively boost my gold income up to 350 per turn now. Oh, Koba could definitely use a shipyard. I should have bought this ages ago because it would have given the city so much production as well as food and stuff from the seaport. Um, bit of a regret of mine now that I didn't do that. But we'll spend a little bit of gold to get it up and running just for now. Machine gun unit, Jesus. Whatever is going on in Hunza just isn't great. Pillage the village. Boom. Pillage, pillage, pillage. Oh, there's going to be 600 faith there from a single, a single round of pillaging. You never, ever get value like this. Warfare is just so good in this game. It's insane. It's insanely good. Now, this is what we call an artillery triangle. Um, the only thing that's missing is an observation balloon. Can I buy an observation balloon? I don't think I can. I don't think I have an observation balloon unlocked. 
but it's it's when you have three artillery ideally all of them um maxed out as armies right now these aren't maxed out as armies you have a supply convoy a great general and then an observation balloon and that way all three of them can benefit from all three of those things you have an extremely mobile extremely powerful high damage long range oh giga group of artillery that uh can hammer cities obviously these guys should be doing a little bit more damage because they should be leveled up and they should be you know we're not, we're not playing perfectly so ah oh, pillage the dam yes we're just destroying all all of this all of this stuff is just getting killed right now oh shit i should totally plug in the raid card oh my god this whole time i haven't had the raid card plugged in that's a huge mistake actually um that's a that's a yikes that is a big 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 misplay on my part. Oh, I'm actually yikesing on that one. Go in here. We probably don't need forced modernization anymore. Oh God, I can't believe I didn't have raid plugged in. I totally forgot about total war. How did you get zombies? The prophet, the God, the, the, the holy avenger, Samuel Irvin told us that if we use the twins to kill a zombie, we get zombies. And he was right. He did not lie. He spoke the truth. And for that, they loved him. Welcome to the churn. We are, I think we're officially in the churn. We're in the late game churn now. Um, for those of you unfamiliar, the churn is, it's when you get to the end of the game and there's like a pretty good chance you're going to win, right? And the number of decisions you have to make is quite high per turn, but the impact of each of those decisions individually isn't really big. Like I have to micromanage my little railway engineer here to build a railway but is that really going to help me win the game probably not and this is what we call the churn every 4x game reaches the point of the churn where each individual action doesn't really move the game forward very much but still has to be done in order to move the game forward oh yes oh 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 my god so much science from pillaging immediately come over here and buy myself a nuclear power plant this is going to give me... Okay, so just to put put in perspective what this nuclear power plant does for me. In range of this nuclear power plant is one, two, three, four, five cities. When I build this nuclear power plant, it's going to give me four production and three signs in each of those cities. That's 20 production and 15 signs. That's really good. Now, there are risks with building nuclear power plants. But who, honestly, who thinks about the risks? Let's be real. Oh, I think my unit is dead, actually. Whoops. 500 gold per, per pillage to blast these cities down with alacrity. Boom. Boom. Oh, oh the power. The power of pillaging. It's honestly... Pillaging? I was wrong about pillaging, okay? They didn't need to buff pillaging. I was wrong. All those years that I said pillaging sucked, it wasn't necessary to buff it because pillaging was actually based as hell. I sucked, Okay. I didn't have the, the Sigma grind set mindset required in order to be a pillager, okay? I was a weak beta pacifist, okay? I didn't know the power of the pillage. Now we're taking a bit of damage. I expect him to pop out aircraft soon. We did just get capitalism, which is cool. So we have access to shopping malls. So we have a great way to generate amenities in our cities. Oh, this trap. Ugh. I had to get rid of it. Ugh. We need to find a farm to pillage. Okay, we found one. Let's rotato potato our triangle. To maximize the angle of the dangle for the next city. Boom. City defeated. Unlocked flight. I don't know why we unlocked flight. Can't explain that one, to be honest. Pure ideo ideology. Pure ideology. Oh, it might have been that I captured a wonder. I think it was because I captured the, uh, the Panama. The Panama Canal. Let's unlock computers so we can fight back climate change. Uh, that's right. We need to mint more. We need to mint more bitcoins in the fight against climate change. Speaking of having flight now, where is my obvious balloon? Oh. Observation balloon, plus one range to siege class units within one hex. The triumvirate, the double triumvirate is complete. And I will show you its features. More cotton. Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Got myself three cottons. One, two, surely I have four cottons. Am I dumb? I have, yeah, I have four cottons. The game is lying to me. What a weaselly little liar, dude. A weaselly little liar, dude. Boom! Margaret, you have been used. Thank you for finishing mass media for me. Oh yeah, I never got Pingala. It's probably why my science isn't amazing. Copan. Kabananan. Nein und nein Sieg Luftballon. Welcome to the triumvirate. The range that can be reached. 
Okay, just wait until they get the plus one range promotion as well. These are artillery units capable of moving four tiles per turn and shooting up to three tiles away. The sheer insanity of what these guys are capable of is ridiculous. And if you combine that with the power of military uh, engineers making railroads, oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. You, 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 you don't even know how strong that can be. So now garrisons aren't very useful for me because that garrison card is gone. People don't seem to care about the garrisons. My garrisons. Let's take logistics so my units move faster. Boom, boom, boom. The EU in nine is pronounced more like oi. So nine, 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 nine. Nine und neunzig. Nine und neunzig. Nine. Nine. Rogan. Where is that Mercury? We got some Mercury over here. Let's pop off. Rockefeller, improve my Mercury. Boom. Ah, oh, man, we're pillaging for science. This is, this is dumb. Okay, I'll say it. This is dumb. It's broken. Boom, 500 gold. Thank you. The pillaging economy should be illegal. Oh, he's got... He's got a machine gunner. Attack. Potato, your uploads are chaos. As a casual slash busy watcher, the last month has been so difficult for me to keep up. Listen, dude, you don't have to watch every piece of content I make, okay? Do people want me to make less content? Am I making too much? That's a thing that you can do. I might, I might be saturating the airwaves too much. We can do that. We can make less content. Hui Ying Fu, thank you so much for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate you. Boom. City will fall slowly. We need to take out this guy. Industry on that tile. Rockefeller will take over next turn. Pop down an observatory. When is the next era? It feel, oh, it's four turns away. It feels like it's been forever. Forever since we got an era. What a weird problem to have as a content creator. Well, it is a legitimate problem because maybe I want to produce uh, long form, high quality content. Maybe I'm dedicating a little bit too much time to, um, to streaming and content production. Maybe I should maybe I should take out a day of streaming and instead dedicate it to making things like tier lists. Maybe you guys would prefer that, right? So it, it is a legitimate problem that too much low quality content. Like it's good to have some low quality content because a lot of people are bored and they're just like, I want to watch Potato play Civ. So having like a little bit of that throughout the week is really, really good. But also people want like high quality, high impact because maybe you're, you, get, you, you just get busy in your life, but you want to maintain your Civ 6, you know, hobby. And so in order to maintain that hobby, you might need me to just produce like 30 minute videos that you can like watch on a lunch break um, that give you a whole bunch of information about the game or tips and tricks and satisfying conclusions, right? There's, there's, a, there's a variety of ways that people exist in life and a variety in, in ways that they consume the content. Live tier lists, we might do that. We might do that. I'm getting dangerously close to losing our artillery. Um, so let's swap these guys. City is a little bit tough now. I definitely need to, um, I, th I think that's enough field cannons. I think I'm going to go ahead and get myself three more artillery to combine together into the triumvirate. The triumvirate, clad A. The triumvirate, clad B. And the triumvirate, clad C. This is what peak performance looks like, okay? When you have three artilleries with a supply convoy, a great general, and an observation balloon. Now, the supply convoy will eventually, uh, or sorry, no. The observation balloon will eventually upgrade to a drone, which also gives them plus five combat strength, which is incredible. This is what's making my conquest of this guy so easy. Thank you so much, Brandon Joyce, for becoming a member of the channel. I appreciate you, man. Absolute hero. Thank you so much. All right, here comes our second co corporation, the Mercury Corp, which will be called the Delicious Silvery Drinks Corporation. No. Yes. Awesome. Everyone loves a delicious silvery drink. In fact, I'm going to put Pingala in the city. Pingala... Get your ass over to Skedsmo. And we're going to rename Skedsmo. That's right. It's going to be Skids Row. Did I ever make use of this Reina purchasing ability? I kind of forgot, didn't I? I totally forgot. I totally... This was a waste. <laughs> I completely forgot that I did this. F and chat for sending super chat the wrong way. It's okay, Brendan. Two questions. Are you ever going to revisit Babylon? Culture Rush is fun. April update changed their strat a lot. Also, uh, any more disaster saves today? Thanks for streaming. Not sure about today, Brendan. We shall see how she how she goes, right? We'll play it by ear and we'll live without fear. For they shall know no fear, because they are his legions. I want this amber. Amber, 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 Build a settler. We must construct additional settlers. The city's walls have been obliterated. Boom and boom. It is my city now. I will keep it. Thank you for your city. 
Oh, pillage. Yes. Trade route. Yoink. Hot potato takes. You bought a theater square with it? I did. I did. Haha. Uh -huh. I found satellites, but not... Oh, there's chemistry. I'm so dumb. Dude, I'm so dumb. But research labs, they're coming. Oh, Lord, they're coming. Today is the 30th anniversary of Civ. Is it actually? The 25th anniversary edition. Oh, wow. Interesting. You know what? This mine right here isn't doing it for me. Pure ideology. I like this. This is cool. Botanic whiskey, how old are you? Uh, I am 30. 30. I'm 33 and a third years old. That's how old I am there, laddie. 33 and a third. 33 and a third. Professional sports. Kamai surpassed me in science. <laughs> what? 364. 392. Mm, pressing X to doubt as we speak. How badly have I messed up the world? Yeah, I'm causing climate change. You know what? That's my hobby. It's my new hobby. I'm going to go out in my backyard and just buy things to burn. I'm going to just, I'm going to emit CO2 every day until the government meets my demands, which is to reduce emissions. This is how some left. No, okay, let's not do political jokes, right? <sighs> pillage, pillage, pillage. Now we got chemistry next turn. Feel, I'm feeling good. Two things are certain in this world. Death, taxes, and seeing bad political takes on Twitter. We officially have the most, uh, just barely squeaking behind Kamai. Now, one person has launched a project. We have not launched a project. However, we are only, we're actually three techs ahead. So he must have beelined. And we just got our research labs, which is going to trigger me. <laughs> it's going to trigger me to go through every single city in my empire and look for the research lab and immediately begin building research labs in favor of anything else. Because this just represents so much potential science here for me that it's insane. Um, yeah, so we have research labs coming up in every single city. All of these cities are powered. We will have a huge boost for science. Each research lab is worth about eight science. However, that will continue to go up as the game goes on, as I build more relationships with these um, scientific city states. In fact, it'll be three, six, nine, 12 more science once I build up my relationships properly with these scientific city states. Boom. Boom, boom, another city falls beneath my, my hooves, my powerful, powerful human hooves. Potato Whiskey, could you organize a Civ 6 esports tournament? Oh, dude, what if, okay, hear me out. What if we, what if we did a, a tournament, all right, of 1v1 Civ games on tiny maps on online speed um, of my viewers? And we do like a seeded tournament where you, you lose two games and you're out. Now that would be fun as hell. You get a 1v1 on a tiny map, a meme tournament. I like it. Oh, it's a 1v1 on a tiny map, but there's meteors falling the entire time. <laughs> or, or, oh shit, this is actually, oh man, this is actually even a better idea. Hold on. What if we, what if we did, okay, me versus as many people that we can fit into a Civ game. Okay, but I have the DD AI bonuses and everyone else is on a team together. So they're all <laughs> trying to kill me and fight me down. But I have the DD AI bonuses. It's like the, the master martial artist fights like the horde of students. That could be fun. Or, oh my God, even I've just had a brain blast. We find a literal new player. We give them the DD AI bonuses and see how well they survive against regular players. The new player will lose for sure. Maybe it would be memes though. Where the hell is, I, if it's on this tile, I swear to Christ, if it's right here. Okay, it's time to start deleting and obsoleting units. These military engineers have served their purpose, but I have too many units to micromanage now. I've reached the point where I don't care, okay? About micromanaging these individual units. This is an important break point. Because it's also where I start talking some mad shit and uh, my sanity slowly decreases. Oh, Nidoros flipped independent. It's gonna have a rebellion in 12 turns. Perfect. Perfect. This was my plan all along. You're on the downside of the fun curve. Listen, we all gotta accept. Sometimes you're on the downside of the fun curve. That's just how life do be. I think right here is a perfectly reasonable spot for a city. A mod, throw troops into volcanoes for faith at any time. That would be cool. I never knew the full power of pillaging. Dude, pillaging is insane. 
insane. It's actually ba 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 bonkers. You want to know a cool tip? This unit is almost dead. What do I do? I combine it with a fresh unit. Boom, it gets healed. Okay. You can he there are magical ways to heal your units in this game. Boom, we settled another city. Let's go ahead and purchase monument granary. I'd like another trader in here, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but we can get this uranium instantly, which is extremely entertaining. It's the epic of the hero twins. Perfect. We got ourselves another great work. Always an absolute pleasure to operate in this space. These cities are starting to break, which is nice. In fact, I can take this city with my tank this turn. I think we leave the Cree on a single city as well. Now, the unfortunate thing is we are taking a grievances penalty um, in cities that we're occupying, but that's fine. Realistically, it's objectively fine. Completely pillaged all of his territory, really came out on top there. And we're already like able to build things in Christian sands. I really feel like this. I, I, I built like 10 builders and it still wasn't enough. Like, I feel like I, I did my best here. I just did not. <laughs> it did not work. The demands that these cities have are just are just too high. They just they want too much and give so little in return. Cree is now begging me for peace. We'll put him out of his misery this turn, I think. Boom, 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 and boom, and boom, and the city is mine. So that's it. War is over. I will peace out the Cree and take all of his cities. And now I completely own my continent, and which means the world is my oyster in terms of era score, because. We're now on the home stretch. Here's rocketry. We're making 428 signs per turn. We're into the last eras. This was a very, very slow victory, but I think, I think we can pull this off here. We're the, we're the third to the space race. I think we got it in the bag though. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.